This TikTok is going viral, and you're gonna help me decide whether it's creepy or romantic. But first, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brad Palumbo. I cover all the craziest things on the internet, in our politics, and in the LGBT community from a center-right, moderate perspective. Now let's check out this video that's going viral on X and dividing people's opinions. I saw this really cute guy at the grocery store the other day, so naturally I followed him to the checkout counter, and when he gave the cashier his oh. credit card, I peeped it to see what his name was. And then I Googled him and found his social media profiles and I was able to tell oh. that he was single. So I went through his friends list and I found his mother's page. And then I looked through his, his mother's mom. page and I saw that she was a member of this book club that's in my area. So I sent a request to join the book club. So I went to the book club meeting and I met his mom there and we bonded over some books that we both liked. And she just thought I was so nice. And I brought it up randomly in conversation that I was single. And she let me know that she had a son that was single also that lived in the area. And maybe it would be cool for us to get together and chat sometime. So I gave her my number, which she gave to her son. And this morning he texted me and asked if I'd like to get together this weekend and do something. So I guess we're gonna go on a date. I'm really excited. So what's your verdict? Is this creepy or is this romantic? Please let me know in the comments. For me, it's creepy. Like, fellas, run. I will say this, if she weren't pretty or if the genders were swapped, I think everybody would agree that this is creepy. But it is a little bit different for a woman to do something like this to a man versus a man doing it to a woman because there's not that same physical strength or power imbalance and there's not the same statistical threat of violence. That said, I'd still be really weirded out if I went on a date with someone and then later found out about this. Which, girl, he's gonna find out now that you posted it on TikTok and it's gone viral. Have you not thought that far ahead? There's also an update video. <laughs> Embrace yourselves. I can't believe how many people were interested in my story yesterday. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you an update now because I just can't wait until the weekend, honestly. So since he texted me yesterday, I have his phone number. Therefore, this morning I went to Snapchat and found his public profile. And oh. he posted a story this morning of him walking his dogs. In the story, I could see a street sign behind him. So oh, no. naturally, I went to Google Maps and looked up all the streets in our city oh, naturally. that have that name. I was able to click on the street views and pan around until I found the exact surroundings that were in his Snapchat story. I don't know if this is the neighborhood he lives in or if it's just where he was walking his dogs, but I did check it out and it looks like there's a Girl. lot of cute little coffee shops. It's a very walkable neighborhood. So I figured I'd get myself ready for the day and make sure I look extra cute and just go on over to this neighborhood, grab a coffee at the coffee shop, walk around a little bit. Maybe I'll even take my dog with me and he'll have his dogs out on the walk and we'll get to run into each other. He might even think it's fake. Each other. I'm really excited. Wish me luck. He might think it's fake. Girl, I'm sorry, but this update did not help you beat the creepy allegations. It confirmed them. And again, he's going to see this too, eventually. I do know that women sometimes do this kind of thing. I remember when I was in high school, we had Snapchat scores and people use Snapchat all the time. And the score was the number of Snapchats that you had sent or received, I think. And I had girlfriends who would write down their boyfriend's Snapchat score when they went to bed and then check it and write it down again in the morning and monitor the difference to see if their boyfriends had been Snapchatting other people or other girls. Y'all, it is times like this where I'm just so thankful to be gay. <laughs> Up next, is the middle class dead? TikTok sure seems to think so. In 1983, making $30,000 a year is equivalent equivalent to making $164,000 a year in 2023 or 2024. Yes, that's right. In addition, the middle class isn't dying. The middle class is dead. In 1950, the average household was making $3,000. The average house cost $5,000. So it wasn't too hard. You had about 2.5 times the price of your annual salary would be what you could do to afford a car and a house. Nowadays, people are making an average of $74,000 in household income, and the average house is four. $450,000. So in order to be considered middle class, the bare minimum of middle class in America right now in 2024, you would be have to make $174,000. And that's not doing well. That's the bare minimum for middle class. Hmm. The math isn't mathing, babe. 
It's insane to me how often super viral TikToks just get basic facts wrong. It is completely inaccurate to claim that $30,000 in 1983 is equivalent to $164,000 in 2023. That's wrong. It's made up. It's not true. As any basic inflation calculator will show you, it's actually equivalent to just under 93,000. That's still a ton of inflation, and we should talk about that. But we probably shouldn't spread totally false information to millions of impressionable young people about the state of economic affairs. Just a thought. Just a friendly little suggestion. And the second part of this video is also not correct. As the economist Jeremy Horpdahl pointed out, the inflation-adjusted median family income has gone from 33170 in 1950 to 92750 in 2022. Yes, that's inflation-adjusted. Of course, housing is way too expensive, and there are many complicated reasons for that that I've discussed at length in the past. But spreading viral misinformation on TikTok doesn't help solve any problems. It just makes people depressed and hopeless beyond what the facts actually should support. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Drop a like if you're still here because you must have found something interesting or insightful. And please do comment with your thoughts and maybe even consider subscribing or maybe even turning on those bell notifications. That's it for this video, but if you're somehow not sick of me yet, you can go here or here to check out some of my other content you might just enjoy.